Sandy and I got a great question and one that we probably could have asked someone else years ago. Here it is. I'm a good listener and I'm caring, but that doesn't mean I want to be everybody's therapist. People unload their personal issues on me and I don't like it. It's draining. When I mention I don't like to discuss their problems, they get angry. What should I do? I totally get it. Like Teresa said, we're empathic people. We're both in the coaching field. People dump problems out really quickly. And if you don't have boundaries, it can go totally out of control. I would not say something like, I don't like to discuss your problems. I think, I think it's the language that is making people angry. So instead I would set a boundary as soon as they start talking about their personal issues. You can say something like, that sounds really hard. What does your therapist have to say? What do you think, Teresa? Oh, you nailed that one, Sandy. There's a way around taking on someone's issue. You just nod and you don't coach them. You don't take it on. You say something like, oh, okay, man, that would be tough. And then also setting a boundary for yourself. Man, I did not realize it was this late. I got to go. So ending conversations sooner. So the difference is you're waiting until it happens. We're suggesting a preemptive boundary. So the minute someone starts in a personal issue, you create a boundary for yourself. Oh man, I, I, woo, I got to get out of here. Or you will do exactly what Sandy had said. Um, and what does your therapist think about that? Interesting. What's your therapist think? Because you are not a dumping ground. None of us are dumping grounds. Remember, boundaries will protect your time, your energy, your well-being, and your friendships. 